guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains, North Carolina. Spring is here, the sun is shining today, and it was time to do some work here on the farm. And this is what I'm going to be working on today. This is the Brindley poly cart. This is a 10 cubic foot uh, dump cart. You know, this thing pops up and slides back. Love this cart. I've had it just shy of two years now, or maybe just over two years now. But I've really been happy with his performance. It's holding up extremely well, considering it sits outside for all of the year. Uh, very rarely does it enter the garage unless it's to do repair, you know, like air up the tires or stuff like that. This thing just sits here, but the uh, plastic is held up real well. Anyway, one thing that this does that, uh, that I wish it could do better is when it dumps, this back piece here is beveled. It doesn't pull out like your metal carts have that sliding piece that comes off. So when you dump it, all the material usually dumps out of it. With a poly cart and this being bubbled like that, you usually get about 90 to 95% of the stuff out there, but there's always a little bit of something left over. I use this a lot for, uh, how do I put this nicely, moving chicken manure around. And so uh, I'd like to, when I'm done to have all the chicken manure out of this before I go to using it for hauling lumber or uh, stuff like that. So the, uh, the idea here was I wonder how I could make this thing dump all the way out. And a lot of times that just involves unhooking it from the garden tractor and dumping it over the rest of the way. Well, Brindley has come up with a fairly interesting way of making this happen without having to undo it from the uh, garden tractor itself. And that's the Roger 180 dump kit. <laughs> and they call it the Roger kit because the uh, quote here is over and out. So a little bit of CB related stuff here, even in the garden tractor videos. Anyway, this thing, you have to kind of partially disassemble this. You're making very few modifications to it. But looking at the video last night of how this thing goes together, this looks like it's not going to be a difficult task, and it looks like something we can knock out here oh, in the next hour or so. And it'll give this cart the ability to flop all the way over. It'll tip completely over, get all the stuff out of it, and that'll really be cool for uh, when I'm hauling around that manure. So uh, the chicken scrap, we'll call that, right? Anyway, let's get this thing unboxed. I know that I'm going to need, well, a flathead screwdriver, and I think it was a 9 16 so it might have been a half inch. And because uh, putting this thing together wasn't very difficult, but we're going to be taking the bed back off. We're going to drill a few extra holes, install a new bracket, put it back together again, and we'll be done. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got. I don't know if this is available in the stores yet, but they do have it online. I had this shipped to the house here. Set that aside. Got our instructions here. Looks like we got some new metal pieces. Okay, two brackets it looks like. This must be our nuts and bolts. Looks like our new pool handle. That's cool. And some more brackets here. And uh, this appears to be, yeah, this is the actual part that's going to allow this thing to dump over our hinged material here. So go ahead and set all those aside. And we'll go ahead and read through the instructions real quick to see just what's involved, and we'll get this thing started. I believe this comes with a new drill bit for drilling out the uh, holes that are required for the bed. But let's see. Uh, if anyone's interested in the part number, it's FDK-10BH. And it looks like it's compatible with a variety of, uh, of dump carts, but this one being the 10 cubic foot, which is probably their most commonly sold. All right, so it's just got uh, our uh, parts list and a uh, nice color, or not color, but nicely. Uh, the pictures are all pretty, pretty easy here. So it's going to tell us uh, first step one. Remove the A-frame, so there are uh, eight bolts that I'm going to take off, and that's actually going to just take the whole plastic bed right off of this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that, and then we'll see what we got. All right, so like I said, there's eight. You'll just need a Phillips or flathead screwdriver and a half-inch wrench. You can also use a ratchet, and I'm going to go ahead and remove all eight of those. I'll be using this little paper box here, cardboard box, to hold all this stuff so I don't lose it while I'm out here on the yard. Once you have all eight of those bolts removed, you will just need to push down on your release lever and you'll lift the whole bed right off. 
I'm just going to flip that over because I'm going to do some work on the bottom side of that. In fact, I'll kind of angle it here like so. There we go. All right, let's see what next step is. Okay, so aligning this stuff here takes place by using the existing holes. I've got these two brackets here, and you lay those down on top of this new bracket here. One thing I also want to point out, made in America, made in the USA. I'm liking that. Now more than ever, we need to look at making U.S. manufacturing a reality back here stateside. So I'm happy to see that Brindley's doing that. So I'm going to take these pieces here and using my four existing holes, I'm going to put some new nuts and bolts through here. That'll hold everything together. Once that's done with the supply drill bit, I'm going to be drilling four new holes in the bottom of this to support all this bracket. Now while I'm putting these in, it's telling me not to go ahead and put nuts and bolts on here. Just push these bolts through and that's just for the alignment procedure because apparently we'll be changing this out around. We'll be taking this back off after we've drilled these holes. Right? So there's our retainers. That's holding everything in place. Now I'm going to take the supply drill bit, which is right here, hook it up to my drill, and drill my new holes. telling me now on this end I've got these two brackets here and I'm going to be drilling four more holes and that's to hold this in place. It actually comes with a template which is nice. This silver piece is a template so I'm going to use that to hold everything in place and then it looks like we'll be bolting these onto the edge. All right we're going to slide our drilling template in like so. Same thing on the other side. Great. So there's our four holes drilled. I believe that is it for drilling new holes in this. So not a difficult task to say the least. All right, we're gonna actually remove this, it looks like, because this bolt's going in from the inside. So I'll pull these pieces off. like to get all four started before I tighten anything down that's just it makes alignment easier when you're building these things now we'll go back and tighten those up That's it for that side. Let's see what's next. So the next step is taking this off here and putting it in our freshly drilled holes. And let's go ahead and tighten that down, which I believe is right there in there. So we'll get them started and then we'll tighten them up with the uh, impact gun.
All right, this next step is a little bit hard to visualize here. It looks like it goes to the outside of both of these. And there's two brass bushings. Looks like the bushings go from the inside. Like so. And once we got that installed, got our handle, our pull handle here. I'm going to go ahead and slide the rubber piece on there. And it looks to me, oh geez, man, it seems to go like that. It goes, I think it like that. Tighten it all up. few steps involved dragging this over. I've got to line up these back pieces here. There we go. Sliding these long bolts through these pre-drilled spots that we made earlier. There's one. Okay, so visually it doesn't look a whole lot different than it did before, just the addition of one handle on the side, but let's see how it operates. So the original release is still here, and I can tip it back, and as you can see, I get about that nice rake where I get most of the material out. But now let's see how the new part works. Release that handle, and she dumps all the way over. Slide that back into place, and lock it. There we go, and lock it down into place. So, not bad. I like it. Dump it back, flip the lever, dump it all the way over, and it will go all the way over. back into place. I like it. Of course this will work a whole lot better when it's actually hooked to a tractor, which I probably should have had for this procedure, but there it is. I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed this little assembly video. Time will tell how well this thing works, but initial impressions are just as good as the Brindley dump cart itself. It seems to be a fully functional and well-built piece of machinery. If you like this video, perhaps you'll think about liking and subscribing. I'll see you next time. Take care. Something that needs a little fixing on far point farms. Freedom is mighty sweet.